This is the fifth video in our six video series on tips for fitting Widex Moment. And in this video, we're going to talk about the fine tuning screen. Uh, when you fit a Widex Moment in Compass GPS 4.0, you'll notice that there is a new option called low frequency stabilization. That is correct. And let me take you back here to the fine tuning window. You can see the low frequency, the new function, low frequency stabilization is placed in the lower part of the screen. And we are working with an open fitting. And normally we would turn off the microphone for the lower frequency area to get the best sound quality. However, we know that some hearing care professionals would like to work with this area and do some fine tuning here. And we have listened to the feedback and made this available. I will now open all the 15 channels because I think it's easier to uh, show what we are talking about here. As you can see in the, uh, the lower frequency area from 1 kilohertz and below, all the, um, uh, the matrix here is grayed out. We cannot touch do anything here. But if you uncheck the low frequency stabilization box here, you will see that they will turn black and they are now accessible for you to work with. Now, our advice would be to keep it uh, checked as it was from the beginning because it's an open fitting and we know that the sound, will, the sound quality will be better when it is checked. Sometimes we get questions about the negative values that you can see in the gain matrix here. And Erin, why is that? Well, it's actually a really good question. And the reason is that these values that you see here in the gain matrix, they actually represent compression gain. So they have to do with the fitting rationale that was chosen and the hearing loss thresholds. However, they do not take into account the feedback test results, the sensogram results, and all of the calculations of true acoustics that have individualized this fitting for the specific client. So to see the gain that your client is actually making use of from the hearing aids in their ears, you can look up here on the graph to see the in situ gain from the hearing aids in their ears. One last thing is that this is an initial fitting, a first fit, and we would advise that you don't do a lot of changes here in the gain matrix and the fine tuning window. We would rather advise that you use the adaptation manager in the middle of the screen here. The adaptation manager will step-by-step -step guide you and your client to get the really good first fit with the Widex Moment hearing aids.